I don't understand why Amy's allowed to wear a mustache, but I can't wear my dreadlocks. And I can't wear a grass skirt and coconut boobs. Let her wear the coconut boobs, you monsters. It's because those costumes objectify a whole culture. I am not dressed as an Italian. I am dressed as a character who happens to be Italian. Mm. So I'm not allowed to dress up as a Jamaican, but if I'm dressing up as Bob Marley, who happens to be Jamaican, then everything be Irie, man. No, what's the difference? It's just, it's different. Jonah, I feel like you can explain this better than well, I can. I know it's different. I, I'm, I'm just having trouble putting into words why. Uh, Janet, could, could you explain it to them? Why me? No reason, just you just, you know stuff. It's no different. If we let Amy wear that costume, then we might as well let Marcus wear blackface. Oh, that's oh, a false that's awesome. Awesome. No, she's not the same. Wait, hold awesome. on, wait. Why can't I paint my face to look like Bob Marley, but Elias can paint his to look like a Smurf? You can't just, there's a whole history. Janet? Yeah? <laughs> Nothing, I'm just checking in. How, how you doing, are you good? Okay, you know what? This is getting too complicated. Let's just cancel the contest. Uh, what? No. It's uh, not worth upsetting everybody over one day off work. I... We can't just live our lives afraid to offend someone. I, I think that we, you know, as a society, we need to just lighten up a little bit. Yeah, I mean, really, if I think about it, Mario is a hardworking plumber that rescues princesses. If anything, that costume honors Italians. Yes. So I can wear my hula outfit if I'm honoring Hawaiians. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you feel like it's about honoring the culture and not just to look sexy. Yep, I'm honoring the culture. And I can wear my Rasta hat if it's about honoring Jamaicans. Uh, well, I mean, I guess if, if we're saying that it's all or nothing, then can't really think of a reason to say no. Rabumbaklat. Okay then, contest back on. Oh, yes. Yes. Right. Have you been wearing that under your shirt all day? Yeah, I don't know how you do it. Hello St. Louis, welcome to Cloud9 Store 1217's 2018 Halloween Official Employee Costume Competition Royale! Yeah. All right, let's meet our first contestant, Marcus White. He did the mesh. He did the most. One love. Everything Irie. But I'll tell you what isn't Irie. Nearly 700,000 Africans brought to Jamaica as slaves. The Rastafari movement isn't about ganja and bobsleds. It's about resisting the tyranny of white oppressors. Perhaps just like you. Thanks and happy Halloween. the pasta, but Italians are so much more than just um, spaghetti and meatballs. From the beginning of time, white women have honored us with their contributions to science and the arts. A bell rang out through the city of Dolores. Gong, gong. Known as the land beyond the forest, Transylvania is rich in natural splendor and mineral resources. Eleanor Roosevelt, Joy Behar, Marie Curie, Madonna. Brainy Smurf's special talent is his brain. There's the Sistine Chapel, uh, Penne Arrabbiata. You pour the vinegar in, <gasps> and the lava comes out. Viva Moreros! Viva Allende! Viva Jose Fortite Dominguez! Jokey Smurf, he tells jokes. He's funny. He's the funny one. Gerrymandering may present the, the most grave threat to our democracy. The Venice Canals and uh, mozzarella sticks. If you look back to the midterm election results of 2006. Shoot your web. Oh, ha, no, I'm, I'm not uh, Spider-Man. Shoot it anyway. <laughs> Whip. Nice. <laughs> I just want you to know that I actually really do like your costume. Thanks. I like yours, too. Do you want to hold hands like in Miss America? Not really. I actually don't like her costume. And the winner of one day off work with pay and this small bowling trophy because it's all we had, Amy Sosa! Yes! Yes! In your face! In your face! Yes! I would 
would like to accept this award on behalf of the Italian people. So how much did I win by? Was it like a landslide? You can tell me. Oh, it was a total landslide for Cheyenne. What? I mean, her boob accidentally popped out. You can't compete with that. Wait, did you cheat for me? Mm-hmm. Nice. <laughs> it's kind of fitting, don't you think, that I actually ended up suppressing votes? Because <laughs> uh, I'm Jerry, you, mm -hmm. you get it. 